We are live. The 90 day run. Let's give this a, a minute to get people on the line. See uh, who's actually tuning in today. It is Saturday. Beautiful Saturday here in Southern California. Just got done with the kids soccer games. So now I'm back to business now helping you guys out. So the 90 day run. Let's see who is tuning on live. So let's wait a minute to see who we got on. Let's check it out. Got a few people on already. So Hey, if you, you guys that are tuning in, what's up, everybody? Uh, just let everybody know where you guys are tuning in from, what country, what city, what state, what part of the world you guys are tuning in. I got some good info for you today, and then we'll get you on your way so you have a beautiful Saturday, right? 90-day run. Hope you guys that are all running have been having some breakthroughs. Hope you guys have been stepping outside of your comfort zone. Hope you guys have been sharing your company's business you know, and products and program and services, whatever it is. Um, hope you guys are out there doing the thing and getting some results in your business for the first time ever because you guys are actually applying yourself. You're putting that work in, right? You guys got your hustle mode, not, mode on. You guys are grinding out there. These are all my grinders here on Saturday when you guys could be with your family. You guys are, might be with your family right now, but you guys are tuning into the Facebook Live because you guys need some nuggets today, right? I want you guys to have an incredible weekend. All right, guys, so we got people calling them from everywhere. We got Spain. We got United States. We got Germany. We got Italy. We got India. We got Portugal. Awesome. Where else are, are people tuning in from today? Everybody's on. Make sure you guys are sharing this Facebook Live. This is going to be a good Facebook Live today. Share it with everybody. Start tagging your friends. Uh, when I'm done, this will post to my page. Tag your friends on it so they can watch it. Share it. Remember, it'll be on our website as well, the90dayrun.com. If somebody can write that out for, for people that are viewing so they know the website to go to. Uh, in about 30 to 45 minutes, this video will be uh, also on that website. You guys can go to that website to get your 90-day run tracker sheet. You guys can watch all of the past 90-day run videos. You guys can also get your tools, your MLM scripts, uh, compliments of Eric Worry and GoPro. We got Rancho Cucamonga in the house. What's up, Carib? My boy Carib's on. Uh, we, got, we got the memory jogger on there so you guys can have an endless list to build and, and also continue with your active candidate list for those of you guys that are reading GoPro. Everybody on here should have made the decision to go pro. That's why you guys are on the 90 day run. Thanks, Carib. That's the website, the 90 day run.com, you guys. All right, guys, so let's get into this. <clears throat> I thought that it's Saturday and I thought that it was appropriate that I share with you guys in network marketing because there's a lot of things that I'm seeing people do wrong online, offline, in person, at meetings, at events, uh, you know, stuff that I'm reading. And there's a lot of people that really want to do the business right, but they're doing it wrong. And there's some people who are just doing it wrong with a vengeance. It's crazy, right? And what I don't want to happen to you is I don't want you to become one of those people, right? One of those people that give the industry a bad name. One of those people people want to avoid. When they see you walking towards them, they turn around and walk the other direction. I don't want that to happen to you. I don't want you to be a victim of what not to do in network marketing, guys. So I want to share with you guys my list today that I put together for you guys of what not to do in network marketing, right? Because like I said, there are tons of people doing this every single day and they're just doing it wrong. I want you to treat this like a real business. I want you guys to look like a real professional in network marketing. I want people to be proud to be your friends. I want people to be counting down the days when they get to finally work with you. I want people excited when you're in their presence. I want you to be like this bright shining light when you're in the room, okay? People go, oh my gosh, there's Ralph, or there's Karen, or there's Kevin, there's Mike, right? Let's, let's go see what they're up to today. I want, I want it to be like that for you guys, okay? So for all of you guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Let's get to it. What not to do in network marketing, okay? Do not try and learn everything before you earn your first commission. For those of you guys who are brand new to network marketing, what most people want to do is they're always getting ready to get ready. They think they need to know everything before they talk to their first prospect. Really, who you want to be is you want to be that person with ignorance on fire. You don't really know everything about your company yet, but the reason you got started was because you were so excited because the person who shared with you their business or their product or their service was so excited. It was like ignorance on fire. You were just like a magnet towards them and you joined, you're excited, you're using the product or you're using the service and you just want to go share with someone new what it is you're so excited about and that's why they're going to get excited. What most people do wrong is they try to learn everything first. They want to know everything about the company, everything about how the company uh, was started, what the product is, the science behind this product and that product and this product, why exactly this service is special compared to all these other services. You need like 10 other comparative services that you can go share with people. And you learn too much and then you go out and talk too much and you really talk yourself right out of the deal with that person. The person is just listening to so much blah, 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 blah 
that they're thinking, wow, if I ever wanted to do this as a business, I don't think I could because that's too much stuff to even know or understand. And two, this person is just talking way too much. I'm uh, like, I don't, I don't want it at all, you know? So don't try to learn everything before you earn your first commission. When you're excited, just know enough to get someone curious about your business or your product or your service to want to try, try it out or to want to at least get to a meeting or jump on a webinar. Give them only enough to be curious about it, okay? If you want to go learn everything, that's fine, but keep it internal and just help it build up that internal belief system for yourself. But don't go try to learn everything to go, be able to go out and share that with everybody because you think that's how you're going to earn commissions in this business. Because that's exactly how you're not going to earn commissions in network marketing, right? How you're going to earn con- commissions in network marketing is because you're excited, you're passionate about it, you're using the service of the product, and you're sharing maybe a short story or what you're so excited about very shortly, and you're, and you're inviting them to take a look at your business, to try something out for the first time, to, to inviting them with you to that next maybe meeting for a half an hour one night, right? So do not... Try and learn everything before you earn your first commission, okay? There's the first thing. The second thing, like I said, is do not oversell, all right? Do not oversell. Do not talk, do not get someone so excited and now you see that their wheels are spinning in their head, you see they're, they're caught, they've got, you've caught their attention, they're excited about it, you know they wanna try your product or your service and because you think you got them, you wanna tell them more and more and more and more. As soon as you see that you've caught their attention that you got them, Stop talking. Invite them to, to invite them to look at a tool or to try your product out. Invite them to the meeting. Invite them to check out a website. Whatever it is, okay. Do not oversell. Right? Overselling kills it. It doesn't matter what business you're in. I don't care whether you're selling cars or whether you're selling, you know, websites. I don't care what it is. Do not oversell because that kills the deal right there. Okay. As soon as you know you've caught their attention and they're excited, great. Just let a tool do the talking or invite them to a meeting. Let them take the next step. You let, them, let them go to your website and let them take the next step to join. Like, Don't act like this is the only thing you got and this is the last shot you got. Like, Man, act like there's enough time in the world, there's enough people in the world. I don't really need you, but this is what I'm sharing with you. If you're excited, here it is. And that's, that's what you got to do, okay? So do not oversell. The next thing not to do in network marketing is do not be someone else, all right? Do not be someone else. A lot of people get involved in this business. I don't care whether it's health, whether it's weight loss, whether it's legal services, whether it's financial planning. A lot of people get involved in in a business for the first time like network marketing and they're out there sharing their company's product or service and they're trying to be the expert in that field all of a sudden. Last week when your friend Jeff was was with you and you were hanging out, you 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 were that guy that was that computer technician. That's what you've done your entire life. He knows you as that. And all of a sudden this week, you're the expert on all things health and wellness. Okay, you're gonna lose them right there. You could still be the guy that Jeff knows and just say, hey, a friend of mine shared this with me. I'm really excited about it. I wanna share it with you. You don't need to be the expert. Okay, don't be that guy. Don't be someone else. As soon as people start to start to pick up on that you're trying to be someone you're not, they don't wanna get involved in it because they don't wanna be someone they're not. Okay, especially if you're trying to invite them into the business. So stay yourself, share someone's story. Be excited about it. Be passionate about it. You're using this yourself and you thought that it would be great fit for them because, okay? Don't be someone else. Always be yourself, right? The next thing, don't be fake, all right? Do not be fake. You have all those fake it till you make itters, those those insta fakers, those fake bookers, right? All All these people online who are faking it until they make it, acting like they've already got the riches, acting like they've already got the lifestyle when they don't. Guess what? The people that know you are now going to think you're phony and they're going to avoid you at all costs. Now you just killed your reputation. People who don't know you are going to, they're going to be attracted to that because they think that you're someone you're not, but they think that's you. And as soon as they get to meet you and understand the real you, they never trust you again. And now they start spreading your name and gossip and, and, and things about you behind your back that are true because they found out it was true. Now you killed your brand. And you might think you're this great social media queen or king because you're faking it all day long. But at the end of the day, one by one by one by one by one by one, the word's going to get out and eventually everybody's going to know that's the fake guy, right? That's the fake chick. So don't be that person. Instead, you don't have to be fake. If you haven't made it, don't worry about it. You're going to be more relatable to the masses because they haven't made it either. Instead, share the stories of people you know who have made it, people that you might know personally or people that you might know on your team. Share their stories to inspire. Hey, I'm not there yet, but 
I'm, I'm, I'm following him or her and I'm going to be there. Share with them your vision so they're more, they can relate to you, right? Don't be the fake person. The next thing you don't want to be is don't wait for things to happen for you. Most people get involved in any business. They wait for it to come to them. They got started. They bought the package. They went to the meeting. They went to the event. They were on the call. They were in the person's house. They joined. They're in now. And now they're waiting for things to come to them. They think they can just make a post on Facebook or let some a few people know what they're doing. And they think those people are going to come to them. Or they're going to go drop off all the products and brochures and magazines at 50 different houses. And they think things are going to come to them. You have to go out and you have to make it happen yourself, okay? You can't wait for things to happen. If you're someone who's involved in network marketing and you're in a place or an area or a city or a county or a state or a country where nothing's going on, you should be a proud. You should be excited about that. Don't wait for it to happen. Don't be the guy to say, oh, you know, I live in uh, Springfield, Missouri and there's no teams here. Can you let me know when there's a leader here that's doing meetings? Because then I'll get started. Forget that. You be the guy or the girl to go out and make it happen. Be excited that you're going to bust this area wide open. Don't wait for things to happen. You have to go out there and make them happen on your own. Or guess what? It will never happen on its own. It will never happen for you. You need to make it happen on your own. Give me some thumbs up if you guys understand what I'm saying, right? Share this Facebook Live with everybody. Share it on your page right now. Tag people on it. Get them on. All right, guys? You want to share this with the masses on your team because you need them to get this education. You need the, them to pick up these nuggets because a lot of these people on our teams and our organizations are doing these things wrong, right? They're doing all of these things wrong and we need, it, we need them to be doing it right so we can build a better name for, for network marketing, guys, right? Okay, so do not be dependent on anyone. That's the next one, right? Do not, number six is be dependent on anyone, do not, like I said, do not wait for things to happen on the last step, but on this step, do not depend on anyone. Most people get involved in this business and they're waiting for the person who got them involved to do everything for them. Or they're waiting for the upline, the magical upline to come to their city and their town, in their home and do the meetings, right? Do not be dependent on anyone. This is your business. You've been blessed because someone shared with you the opportunity that you said yes to. Now it's wide open. There's a company website. There are tools that you can find online. Google it. Google YouTube videos with other people in your company who've probably done meetings and recorded it and put them online. Find out where your company's presentation is, where the PowerPoint is. Find out. Make your own if there isn't one, right? But do not be dependent on anyone. Trust me. I'm speaking from experience. As soon as you start putting all your dependence on a single person, if that's even possible in your business, the minute that person makes a bad decision or does something wrong or leaves the company is the minute that the people that saw you dependent on that person follow that person away. Okay? I made that mistake before. Do not be that. Instead, you be the person, guys. You be the person. Are you guys with me? You guys understand what I'm saying? Okay, 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 right? So you be D B independent. Do not be dependent. Be independent, right? Be that independent woman. Be that independent man in your business. Be that business owner, that entrepreneur. Entrepreneurs are independent. That's what it's about. It's about independence. It's about freedom and all those things that are available in this free market. So go out there and make it happen. All right, guys. Do not be the MLM billboard. All right? Don't be that MLM billboard that when I go look for you, because the first, the first place that people look for people on is on social media. They'll Google them and the first thing up is like their Facebook or it's their Instagram or their Twitter handle or whatever it is, YouTube, okay? Do not be all about network marketing, MLM, okay? When I go to your Facebook page, I don't want to see everything about network marketing, network marketing, network marketing, network marketing, network marketing, network marketing. Here's my business. Here's my products. Network marketing. Here's my network marketing video from yesterday. Here's a tip. All those things, okay? Do not be that. Instead, be balanced. Who are you? Who is the real Jerry? Who is the real Susan, right? Oh, she's a mom? Wow, she has some beautiful children. She, she's the team mom of the soccer team. She, she, dropped, she's, she just volunteered at the field trip yesterday, right? Oh, she's a, she's a doctor as well? Wow, all these different things. Wow, she's in love with her husband. Wow, look, it's her anniversary today. These types of things, right? Uh, she, wow, she's got a big family. Like, what is it? Wow, she gives back to charity. Look what she's doing for these, for these underprivileged kids. You know, every other month I see her uh, traveling and doing these, these different things. That they got, she's, she's got a blood drive going on, whatever it is. Like, be balanced, right? Don't be the MLM billboard, right? Be the all-around, full-rounded person that people strive to be. You want to be that magnet for people. Wow, 
She's this professional in her, professional her full time life with her full time job. She's an all around outstanding mom. She's in love with her husband. She's got this big family. She's, she's doing charity and she's got her own home based business where that's really trying to fund her dreams. That's what people want to see. Wow, they like to have fun too. They're not just all about work and business. You know, wow, they're, they're, they're just like every other normal family except she's sacrificing some time to build a home based business as well. That's what you want to look like, okay? Do not be that, that, that MLM billboard, right? Be the all-American billboard. Be the all-around billboard. That's who you want to be, right? Be that person that people want to be, right? So get people on this Facebook Live, guys. Give me some thumbs up if you guys like what you're hearing. All right, guys. Don't be the broke joke. Do not be the broke joke, okay? If those of you are on here and you're saying that you are full-time network marketers, but you're broke every single week and every single month because you're doing things wrong, you haven't developed the skills yet, okay? Then you need to go out there and get a job to help you earn some income to pay for your business that you're trying to build and turn into a full-time thing because you don't want to be the person telling, talking about network marketing, home-based business, but you're not making any money and you have no ways to pay your bills. That's exactly what you don't want to be. Don't be the broke joke because when people know that you're the broke joke, they're never ever going to get in business with you. When you have a full-time job, because that's what you need right now to pay your bills, and you're, try you're striving and working hard and grinding every chance you get to build your home-based business, that's when people are going to get in involved with you because they had the same story as you. They're working full-time. They, 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 they might not like what they're doing, but they're, they're looking for something more. And you got this home-based business that you're running on the side that you're passionate about. And they want to do that too. Okay? You don't need to be the broke joke. All right. So, uh, do not be the know-it-all. Okay? Um, do not be the person that asks questions and then has your own answers already. If you have your own answers, then don't ask the questions. Also, listen, learn, absorb the information. Even if you think you have the answer, just be a student. Even if you think you know it, don't even show them that you know it. Be that student so people appreciate you and want to give back to you all the time. Don't be the know-it-all. Those are the worst people ever. I'm telling you, people want to avoid know-it-alls at all costs. Even if you know it all. There are a lot of things that I know when I'm around people. But I keep it inside. I'm absorbing information. I'm watching. I'm, 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 I'm viewing. I'm just in the moment right there. And I'm a student always, you guys. Okay. So do not be a negative Nelly or a negative Nancy. Okay. Don't give, don't have the poor me syndrome where, where, you know, you know, the, the sky is falling. You know, everything negative happens to you. You know, in this company, I can't get ahead because he won't let me succeed or she won't let me succeed. Or, you know, I thought it was this way when it was really that way, but it should have been this way. Or, you know, they didn't tell me that or he didn't tell me this. None of those things. Don't be the negative Nelly and don't be the person on your chat rooms when people have you on that WhatsApp or WeChat or Telegram or or group me or whatever the messenger group that you're a part of or Facebook messenger. Don't be the negative person all there always spreading negative news because people are going to leave and they're going to avoid you at all costs and they're going to talk about you. People don't like negative people. Do not be those, those people. Okay. Also do not be jealous. Do not be, be jealous of other successful people. When I see people succeeding, I'm excited. I'm sharing their story on my page. Hey, did you hear about this person? Check out this pe person. I'm excited for them. I'm letting that, I'm letting the, 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 the universe you know, respond to me because I'm so grateful and so gracious because of all these people succeeding that the universe wants to give me success right back. That's how you have to think of things, okay? Never be jealous of anyone. Don't have blackness in your heart. Just let it all go and be happy and celebrate everything for everyone, okay? Because guess what? One day it's going to be your day and you want people to celebrate you. All right. Don't be a social media spammer. We're almost done, guys. Do not be a social media spammer. Do not go because you think you want to build your business and go into every single network marketing group and, 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 and go to every single person and friend them or send them messages with your company's business. Do not be that person. I hate those people. Those people that think they're going to ever enroll me, I automatically block them. That will never happen like that. Okay, That's not how network marketers become successful. That's not how you have network marketing millionaires all around the world because we're out there spamming network marketers. I've never, ever, 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 ever in 12 years ever wrote a network marketing superstar directly ever, ever. Never left them a message. If one day I happen to meet them at maybe a GoPro event or something, I'll build a relationship and maybe one day we can work together, but I'm never spamming anybody. I'm a normal guy meeting normal people. I'm building my active candidate list. Eric Worre talks about in his book, GoPro. I built a business with normal people. I'm not looking to build my, my business with three network marketing rock stars from three companies that are going out of business. 
Never, ever, ever. So don't think that's going to happen for you, okay? And don't believe the story of people who say that has ever happened, all right? And do not be defensive. When you're talking about network marketing to people and you're excited about it and they start having negative connotations about it or they have negative responses, don't get defensive. Just always ask them, really, well, that has, that's never been my experience. What, what was your experience with network marketing, you know? If they say, is that one of those pyramid things or one of those things? Don't think that they're trying to be mean or rude. They, they think that that's really what it's called. They don't understand what they're saying. So just say, no, if, you, if you're asking if it's one of those illegal things, I would never do anything illegal. But if you're asking if it was one of those business where you make overrides off the next person, everybody you bring in, yeah, it's one of those things. Let me share it with you. It's, it's, it's really interesting. And I think you'd be excited about it. Like just have a positive spin on it. Never be de de defensive. And also do not be a basher. Do not be a network marketing basher. Don't be the person who talks to the person who's in, in this company or who is in a conversation with a person. They're talking about their friend who's in that company and say, oh yeah, that company's horrible because of this. Oh yeah, your company? Didn't this happen? I, I heard that story about this who, person who got sued or you're the owner of your company or that guy in that company was doing this. Don't be an MLM basher. Keep that information internal, okay? Every time you t anyone talks to me about a network marketing company, I say, oh, I heard great things about that company. I love all network marketing companies. I think all their products are amazing. There has to be a story behind a, a, a product if it's involved in network marketing. And, and almost all the products I use in my home are from multiple network marketing companies. I love network marketing, you know? So always be positive about it. People like people who are positive, right? And they never run into people when they talk about their company who are always positive about anything, right? Do not be a time stealer, okay? If you're out there giving a presentation or even meeting people for one-on-one, -on -one, don't spew all the information you've ever learned about your business company or product or service on them. Have a set time limit to keep it short and just give that and when the time's up, you're done. That's more than enough information for someone to make a decision to wanna use your product, try your service, or get involved with you. So just keep it like that. When you're doing a meeting, just because you're the triple grand poopa diamond doesn't mean you gotta be up there for 45 minutes, right? If you know that maybe three or four other big triple poopa diamonds are in your company and they're speaking with you, speak for five or six minutes because they need some time too, right? Even if one of them takes up all the time, just know that the people are looking at and thinking, oh, this guy's full of himself. He's got to be up there the whole time, take up all the time. Trust me, there are people like that, but you don't need to be the one with the ego, okay? If you're going to do a meeting and you're saying it starts at six, start it at six. Don't say, oh, but this is, uh, this is uh, Rome or this is you know Bangladesh. People are always late here. Who the hell cares? It doesn't matter now because this is network marketing. We start on time because the most important people at the meeting are the people who showed up on time. So respect people's time. Don't be a time stealer, okay? And keep things short, simple, to the point so it could be duplicatable. They can relate to it. They could see that themselves coming back again next Thursday night to the same event and bringing some friends. Okay, don't be a time stealer. And guess what? The last thing, the last thing that I ever want to tell you, the last thing, the last part of this video of what not to do, do not quit. Do not quit because your time is, is already planned, okay? Your time is already coming, right? Everybody has a different story. You have to go through some certain things in this business. You have to go through the ups and downs. You have to weather the storms. You have to put in the work. You have to grind it out. You have to have those people that come into your business. You have to have those people that are trimmed from the tree because different seasons in network marketing. You gotta, you gotta have those breakthroughs. You gotta do those 90 day runs. You gotta get to those events. You gotta get that next new person in your business that's gonna change your life, okay? And it's going to change your life because you never quit. I don't want you guys to ever quit. Do not ever quit. If there's one thing that you've learned from this video today, from this live webcast is do not quit. You know why? Because one day you'll regret it. One day you will regret it. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a beautiful Saturday. I hope you guys learned a lot from this live webcast. Hashtag the 90 day run. Share it with everybody you know, everybody on your team. Make sure they know every three days I'm doing these Facebook Lives. Make sure they know that tomorrow Calvin's doing this Facebook Live. On that day, Calvin's doing the Facebook Live. I've posted my schedule on here. Go to www. The 90 day run to get more useful tools to watch all the past 90 day run videos. Hey, I'm just giving you guys information. I'm giving it up to you guys. So I hope you guys respond by taking action in your business, no matter what company you're in, no matter what products you're promoting, no matter what services you're promoting, no matter how big or how far you want to go, you guys can make it happen. I'm doing this for you. Have a good weekend. Good luck. God bless you guys. Mwah.